Hey guys, today I'm going to be talking about one of my favorite comedy movies of all time. For me, it's probably, yeah, it's probably top five comedies of all time. Okay, I'm talking about The Pink Panther Strikes Again. I love the Pink Panther movies. I'm a huge fan. I've been a huge fan of the Pink Panther movies for a very long time. Used to rent all of them multiple times from the video store. I've been re-watching them little by little. There's only a couple that um, I need to watch properly. But, uh, you know, one of them is really bad. It's the Inspector Clouseau movie with Alan Arkin as Inspector Clouseau. And then there's the other one, which is Return of the Pink Panther, which is not my favorite one. There's parts of the movie that are a bit boring, but there's some really good parts as well. So I need to get back to that one. This one was always the one that I thought was the funniest of the Pink Panther movies. And I stand by that. I Rewatching it, yeah. Yeah, it's definitely... It's definitely the funniest one. I used to say that. I used to say, you know, that's the funniest one for sure. But the best one, the movie that's the best, is A Shot in the Dark. And I sort of still stand by that. Although I think just overall, because Strikes Again is not a badly made film. Like, it's really well made. I mean, obviously, the story kind of goes sideways <laughs> in the second half. But, uh, like, the story makes more sense in A Shot in the Dark. Like, the story is generally better. Um, I, I still think like A Shot in the Dark is a more together film, like visually and in terms of the story. I do think, however, there are some really slow parts in The Shot in the Dark, and you don't get that here. Like this movie is pretty much relentless. Uh, the Pink Panther Strikes Again, the opening title sequence. I mean, the title sequences in the Pink Panther movies are always quite good. This one is epic. This one makes fun of tons of movies. It's hilarious. The animation's great. Uh, really, really good. Like, they don't disappoint with the scale of the uh, Pink Panther animation at the beginning. So already that puts you in a good mood. Uh, the plot is pretty great. Like, it puts an old character from the Pink Panther movies directly against Cluzo, and he becomes a supervillain, Charles Dreyfus, uh, who is, you know, the kind of commissioner who, in the shot in the dark, uh, kind of loses it, has enough with Cluzo because he's too much of a of a of a mess. Uh, but in this movie, he becomes a full on like Doctor Evil level supervillain, and that's just awesome because Herbert Lum, up to that point, had been an amazing supporting actor, like so funny every time, uh, just great performances. And finally, they give him a movie where he can take center stage as the main villain, and it is hilarious especially because Peter Sellers of course is back as Inspector Clouseau and he's a little bit older but he's just as funny as ever like if like he is funnier than ever even just the fact how oblivious he is and yet comes out on top at the end is always a pleasure uh, but you've got the whole team here you've got Blake Edwards making the movie with an amazing score by Henry Mancini uh, you've got Herbert Lum you've got Peter Sellers of course you've got Bert Quirk as um, Cato I mean, what more do you want? You know, you've got the whole team. You've got Francois in there, I think. Like, you got pretty much everybody's back. The team's back together, and it is, it is a pleasure. And the scale of the movie is ridiculous. Like, the, move, the story of the movie is very much like... It, this is when the Pink Panther movies really embraced uh, the fact that they are cartoons. You know, that they are live-action cartoons. I think this is the film that's the most successful at capturing that kind of vibe and for that reason i think it is the best pink panther film now the first pink panther film is really good looks great great cast a bit slow and not terribly like you it's not like a laugh riot and you don't get a lot of clues though in there it's still a good film though it's, it's a great film the pink panther the first movie it's probably the prettiest one and it's probably the one where henry mancini is at his best then you've got a shot in the dark you know great movie takes the best parts of the first movie enhances it into a kind of spin-off kind of deal, but makes it work on its own. Doesn't have the Pink Panther theme, unfortunately, but it's got a new theme which kicks ass, so it doesn't matter. This movie does have the Pink Panther theme, and it is awesome. Now, I don't I don't even know how to explain the story. Like, that's it. That's literally, there's not much else in terms of story. It's literally just Charles Dreyfus uh, kind of, I mean, the, the funny, it's funny right away, this film, because the movie starts and Charles Dreyfus has moved on, okay? He's been in a mental institution for a while, but finally he's managed to get over his hate of Cluzo, and everything's good, everything's chill, then Cluzo shows up, 
undoes years of therapy in five seconds. So freaking funny. There's so many like standout sequences. There's a famous sequence where uh, Clouseau goes into like a like a hotel or something and is like, can I pet your dog? And the old man's like, yes. And then he pets the dog, like does your dog bite? And then he pets the dog and the dog bites him. And he's like, I thought you said your dog didn't bite. And he's like, that is not my dog. That's a classic scene. There's also the scene with the parallel bars. <laughs> which is, this might be my favorite, it, the most perfect Clouseau sequence, I think, maybe ever. Where he, it's like kind of a Poirot type of scenario where he shows up at a house, big house, you know, lots of posh people. There's the gardener, there's everybody. And he starts questioning everyone, but he's a fucking idiot. So it's a, it's like the most ridiculous line of questioning. He steps on people's toes. He falls down the stairs. He's like screaming. He fights a freaking empty piece of armor. He's like wrestles with the butler. It's a whole mess. Um, there's so many iconic moments. There's the scene in like, there's like a beer festival or something where all these assassins are trying to kill Cluzo, but it backfires every time. Deep Roy's in it for some reason. Um, there's the scene where Cluzo goes to a drag show. Just, I mean, do I need to say more? Do I need to really say more? There's the, all the scenes in this castle where Charles Dreyfus is basically the Phantom of the Opera, which is kind of reference to a movie, a Phantom of the Opera movie that he made, Herbert Lom. Um, look, I mean, Blake Edwards is on top form. Again, nobody films a party like Blake Edwards. This movie is awesome. Like, really, like, if you're going to see one Pink Panther movie, I would almost say just watch this one. Obviously, all of them, I think, are worth seeing up to a point. You know, if if you get to this movie, I mean, you, you've basically reached the top of the peak, okay? This is one of the funniest films ever. It's freaking hilarious. There's some weird stuff in there. Like, the story just goes sideways completely, or like the... Like, it becomes almost, like, supernatural. Like, it's full-on sci-fi by the end. Like, by the end of the film, this is full-on sci-fi. And it's a Pink Panther movie, which is usually just, like, um, you know, some kind of heist kind of deal to steal a diamond. No, no. No. This movie goes somewhere else completely. The scenes with Kato are freaking phenomenal. Like, the fight scenes and everything. You gotta watch this movie, okay? If you like a good comedy... This is right up there with the best, you know, whether it's The Big Lebowski or Dumb and Dumber, something like it, whatever you whatever you think is the best few comedies uh, in cinema, I think it's right up there. I always have an amazing time watching this movie and revisiting it the other day was just a pleasure. Yeah, highly recommended. The Pink Panther Strikes Again, in my opinion, probably the best of the Pink Panther movies. Anyway, my phone just rang, so I'm going to go. Um, thanks for watching. And uh, I'll try and review all the Pink Panther movies eventually. All right, it'll take me a bit of time, but I'll get there. I'm rewatching all of them, so see you later.